live. Live life. Tá bem. Follow me. Israel in 1984 was a difficult place to live. Where do you work? Where do you live? As citizens, I'm asking you not to leave any child behind. Uh, but as soon as we leave, which at some point... Please tell me you will not leave me. Life is hard. Yeah, that's right. You're going to experience some struggles, some pain, some hardships. Struggling, your life is hard. I hear what you're saying and I'm going to do something about it. Leaves are called leaves because we're supposed to leave them. You were a leaf that didn't know it was part of a tree. Green. Every leaf in that forest is perfect. Actually, if you see the film, it's not. It's, it's almost abstract. I am live, but the phone numbers are going to come on Twitter. Je dis à moi les doigts pour nous c'est un pile mot anglais très bien. Today, you are about to learn five English words that seem to be confusing in sound for so many non-native English speakers like you and me. And listen carefully to the way I pronounce each one. Don't go anywhere. Stay where you are. Because what I'm going to do is really interesting for you. That will help you speak English better. Now let's go. The first word is a verb. L-I-V-E. How do native speakers pronounce this word? Israel in 1984 was a difficult place to live. Como natisio? You pronounce Mosa. Where do you live? L I V E. This is pronounced as live. Live. Oh wow. Live. Mais l'ogade moa ou e Mosa li gen i c'est comme si ta dwe live. Mais qui ça live la vle di? What does it mean? It mean in French habiter. Live. Repeat this word after me. Live. All right, good job. As you can see on the board, we have a sentence. Live. You've finally found a place to live. Live. You finally found a place to live. Ou finalement, trouvé yon place ou bien yon lieu pou habiter. Si ma di, ki kote ou habiter, Mdi, where do you live? Where do you work? Where do you live? Où t'as des natifs là dit? Where do you live? Where do you live? Israel in 1984 was a difficult place to live. Israel in 1984 was a difficult place to live. Nowadays, Haiti is a difficult place to live. Mdi say live. Mon koné live veut dire habiter. The third person singular, troisième personne singulier. Would you say lives? And she lives in New York City with her husband, um, Atul, and her daughter, Zia. So we are psyched to have you here. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks for inviting me back. Si m'di l'irete de New York, m'di she lives in New York. And she lives in New York City with her husband. Li habite Haiti. She lives in Haiti. Where does she live? She lives in Haiti. Now I say lives. I don't know where you live. Where do you live? Live ça veut dire habiter tout monde comprend. Now let's go for the next one. Leave. L E A V E. Leave. As citizens, I'm asking you not to leave any child behind. I'm asking you not to leave any child behind. La natif la dit Leave, not to leave. Pa kite, si m di pa kite m pou kot mwen, m di don't leave me alone. Leave. Don't leave me alone. Se moman pou nale, se moman pou n kite, it's time to leave. La se leave. Live, lives. Leave, leave. Okay, don't forget. Don't forget to lock the door when you leave. Leave. Don't forget to lock the door when you leave. Pablie, clete pot la. Verouye pot la. Leke ou so, le ou so, tu me lo kite. Now is the verb to leave. Please tell me you will not leave me. Please tell me 
You will not leave me. Jim upakitem. You will not leave me. Please tell me you will not leave me. The verb to leave. Don't forget to lock the door when you leave. Mais ça qui peut être complexe. The most interesting thing you need to know is when you add s. Hmm. This is the verb. This is another verb, but with different sound. And now we have live, lives, live, lives. Hmm. Là, si on dit live, vous dites quitter. The third person singular. You say she leaves me. She leaves, leaves, leaves me. But this, life. Life is hard, yeah, that's right. You're gonna experience some struggles, some pain, some hardships. Life. Natif l'a dit? Life is hard. Life is hard. La vie a dû. Mdi, life is hard. La vie, the plural form. Plus yel la, F, E, ap change yel V, E, ou a jouti S. The pronunciation is, lives. Huh. Lives. La ouè sa se. Lives. Sa se. Lives. Live. Live. Sa ou se verb. Me. Life. Se non. Struggling. Your life is hard. I hear what you're saying and I'm going to do something about it. Life is like a book. Life is like a book. La vie se tan kou yon live. Mzi live is like a book. La vie se tan kou yon live. Don't spend your entire life. Pa gaspiye tout tan. Don't spend your entire life. Working with people. Pa gaspiye tout tan ap travay avek moun. Don't spend your entire life working with people. Life. Se vi pa mwen. It's my life. Don't tell me what to do with my life. Pa dim sam de fe ak vim. It's my life. It's not yours. Mwen reme la vi ou tande. I didn't want to go. I love my life. I love my life. I love my life. Me pluriel la, se lives. Jesus has done tremendous things in our lives. Jesus has done tremendous things in our lives. Jesus fe an pil bagay nan vi nou dan notre vi. In our lives. Ça c'est lives. Mais qu'on a mon qui parle dit wow teacher. Là c'est non. Là dit lives c'est non. C'est life. Là si me dit ma vie pour compte moi, me dit I'm living, I'm living alone. Voilà. Ma vie me dit I'm living. C'est verbe ça, me prend me dit c'est live, me dit I'm living. Si mon nom dit qui côté où habiter, est-ce que là du where do you live ou bien where do you live? La bzou, where do you live? Pour que soit quitté le consa, why do you leave him like that? Me dit c'est leave. Leave. He lives. Lives. The third person singular. Lives. C'est pas seulement ça qui gagne. Nous allons montrer deux lots encore. Fais attention pour pas confondre ça. C'est lives. Les sévères, les non. Et là, fais attention avec ça. Nous allons montrer lots encore. The next two confusing words are leaf, live. Leaf, live. Attention. Live, F ça a changé. La vie n'est comme ça. La vie lives. Pas oublier, dans le verbe c'est tout live. Mm -hmm. Si je dis moi quitter, je dis I leave you. I leave you. Mais quand je me dis, je me dis, a leaf. You were a leaf that didn't know it was part of a tree. Leaf is part of a tree. Leaf is part of a tree. Mdi, feuille si on patine dans le pied bois, dans le blanc. 
Il dit lif. Mais pluriel, je ne vais pas parler de plusieurs feuilles. Moi, je dis c'est leaves. There are many leaves in the ground. There are many leaves in the ground. Leaves, ça, là, il ne pas dire qu'il non? Leaves, dit qu'il ça? Feuilles, au pluriel. Leaves. There are many leaves in the ground. Il y a plus de feuilles à terre. Il y a plus de feuilles à terre. Mais là, il dit, every leaf in that forest is perfect. Every, every leaf in that forest is perfect. Actually, if you see the film, it's not. It's, it's almost abstract. Every leaf in that forest is perfect. Chaque grain ou bien chaque grain feuille dans la forêt, il n'y a pas fait. C'est leaf. Pluriel là, c'est leaves. Ça qui est belle là, attendez ça, Nathalie l'a dit. Leaves are called leaves because we're supposed to leave them. Ou qu'à étonner, les leaves are called leaves because we are supposed to leave them. Leaves are called leaves because we're supposed to leave them. Regarde ça. Leaves are called leaves because we are supposed to leave them. On t'a dit comme ça, ça c'est faible là, to leave, c'est quitter. Mais ça, pas le dit quitter. Pas oublier, l'aime des dit qu'il leave, c'est troisième personne de verbe de, de, to leave. Si me dit il quitte, moi me dit she leaves me. She leaves me. Là, c'est verbe quitter. She leaves me. Mais leave ça, kounia, là, pas le dit quitter. Il lui dit que ça. Feuille, plus yel la. Leaves, feuille, yore le feuille, parce que yon gon lè pou yon kite nou. Hein? <laughs> she leaves some leaves in the ground. Mdi, she leaves, she leaves, really? She leaves some leaves in the ground. She leaves some leaves in the ground. Ça veut dire que liquide fia, liquide quelque feuille à terre. Leaf, leaves. Où est différence? Ça a qu'on par rapport à verbe quitter. Ça c'est live, live. Attention, comme on te dit habiter encore, c'est tout live. Live, pas vrai? Tu live, habiter. Là, je te dis, c'est verbe. Moi, habiter Saint-Marc, je dis, I live in Saint-Marc. Elle habite à Saint-Marc, je dis, she lives in Saint-Marc. She lives, libre S. She lives. Mais là, quand y a un gagné, live, qui c'est qui ça? Adjectif, c'est adverbe. Live, le dit, en direct. Si me dit I am live, moi connecté, moi en direct. I am live, but the phone numbers are going to come on Twitter. Live, ça c'est adjectif, c'est un adjectif. Live veut rôle adverb, il veut rôle adjectif. Adjectif, adverb. And got it. Let's look at. We got two sentences here. The first one is It's a live radio show. It's a live radio radio show. This is the noun. The wall of an adjective is to modify the noun. Wall adjective là c'est pour modifier non one. This is the adjective. And the adjective usually places before the noun. Là on dit adjectif là placé avant non one. It's a live radio show. Live. Really? Qu'on y a la sambe je vous plus comprendre. The most interesting thing you need to remember to keep in your mind is Try to make the difference between the two words, live for the verb and live, different sound. And for leaves, the plural of leaf, and the verb to leave, and the third person singular of the verb to leave, we say leaves. Si me dit le moi, me dit she leaves me. Live like it comme ça. Mais quand y a la, si me dit feuille, me dit the leaves. 
There are many leaves in the ground. En résumé, nous apprenons 5. You've learned 5 confusing English words. You learn how to pronounce them perfectly. If you are talking to someone, use the word leaf. Not only using or saying the word like that, by knowing, okay, leaf is the word. Leaf is the word. It's not the right method. If you want to learn words, you need to use them in sentences. To use them in words, you need to use them Don't use them individually. Don't use them individually. You need to use them in phrases. Like, Qui ça leaf là? Ouais, dis leaf is a part of a tree. Yes, that's great. Thank you. Merci tout le monde parce que t'es été à regarder belle leçon ça. On va venir une belle vidéo pour nous. On va le montrer. On fait liaison. Nos prononciations. On a continué la leçon prononciation. Yo, vidéo prononciation. Yo, on va montrer faire liaison. Comment on a fait la part les boutons des salles d'hier rapide, rapide. See you next.